Um, my name is Federico Villalobo Sambranao, um, and this piece is called, I think his name was Michael. I want to brush the side of his face with mine. I'd hold him's palms and I'd say, I can taste the whiskey bottle on your beard. I think you showered in it. We would fumble with each other with hands that don't yet know how to converse. His brown eyes, only a shade lighter than his skin, would look at mine, glazed with this evening's drinks and a kind of uncertainty. I'd tell him that I'd no sadness too, that is over there on his shoulder and it's on mine, perhaps over there as well. Panting, moving our feet, I'd say, but we are going to go through it together if you like. He would laugh at me and I would laugh too. That's a smile I would never forget. I want to tell him as he furls his face into my armpit and say things like lilac, whiskey, Indian rock, dates. I have these ideas. I want to take his day old shirt home. Looking up, I would hold, but I showered. I must have missed a step. His back against that wall that claims to want no bills. He utters as he kisses me, I need to go, but I want to stay. I'm holding him, his hands again in my palms. His sweaty nose distracts me for a minute. I wonder what it tastes like. I want to go there. He says, I can wait when it's daytime. I'm impatient, but I'm quiet. Um. <laughs> Uh, this is a short piece I started working on like a few days ago. Um, it's entitled. In the weeks before I left for college, my mother grabbed me by the hand and took me to my aunt's small kitchen in Tarzana. She opened the refrigerator and began to place item after item on the counter. There are things you will need to learn to do, she told me as she cracked egg after egg into a large blue plastic bag plastic bowl, excuse me, she stood over the counter draped in a floral printed blue dress with a yellow handkerchief over her head. She handed me the bowl and a whisk and told me to mix the way she had done these past years. Six months prior to this evening, my mother and I packed our lives into her small silver Volkswagen Beetle and left a husband and father figure behind. This was the first time I would come to learn what both loss and freedom were. I would learn that they freedom and loss have no price tag. My mother began to peel potatoes, allowing the skins to fall into the stainless steel stink. She moved hip to hip, side to side. She didn't look at me, but she said, you have to make sure never to cut yourself, never to put yourself in a position where you could hurt yourself.